everyone, this is Amy from Concord and Ninth here to show you our new Lacy Love Note add-on die. We're really excited about this die because it builds on an already wonderful die that we released in January. So this die is Lacy Love Note add-on die and it is intended to be used with our Love Note envelope die. So I'm going to show you how to make an envelope and then some other creative uses you can use the die for because we all like multiple uses. So first, when you're using the Lacy Love Note add-on die, you're going to start with a sheet of paper that's four inches by 10 and a half inches long. So when you use the regular envelope die, you actually start with an 11 inch long. So this one you are gonna want a little bit shorter. So four inches by 10 and a half inches is what you need for this die. Now, just like our envelope die, you're going to take the long part of the envelope die and you're gonna line that up using these tabs and the little notches so it's really easy. But on the other end, you're going to use the new Lacy Love Note add-on. So it lines up the same way as the rest of the die did. So you're going to line this tab up to the end of the paper and you're going to use these little notches to line up the sides. So once you have this on there, you can run it through. If you're using an extended platform, you can run it through all at the same time. If not, you can run one end through at a time. You may want to add a little bit of post-it note tape just to make sure you keep it in place and it doesn't slide around. So after you've ran that through the Big Shot or another die cutting machine, you are gonna end up with this. So you've got this ready. You're just going to use a scoring tool or a trimmer or a paper folder and you're gonna do your scores everywhere that you would for an envelope. And from there, you just fold it up, add a little adhesive and you get this really cute envelope. So can you see that little envelope flap that you get? So instead of your traditional flap, you just get this cute little doily-like flap. Now one tip that I learned for myself when assembling the envelope is make sure that you put your adhesive on the back of the front flap and not back here. The first one I assembled, I put my adhesive back here and I ended up with a lot of extra adhesive and got to practice again. So make sure you put your adhesive here but other than that, it folds up just like um, any envelope would. So you've got that cute little love note flap. Now we've got a cute sample that shows how um, that really can look on an envelope. This one, we actually cut it out of a separate um, piece of paper so that you have a contrast in the color, which is really cute. Or you can actually just use that half doily as an element on a card like we have here. So lots and lots of fun uses that can be used as the envelope flap or on a card front. I also want to show you, get those out of the way, another way that you can use it. So here is a really cute card where we've actually used the envelope die, but it has nothing to do with an envelope. So if you want to extend your uses, you can actually make full doilies. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple, really easy, but wanted to show you how cute it is on a card front. So let's grab this in. You're going to start by cutting it the same way that you did as if it was going to be on an envelope flap. You just don't need it to be quite as long. Sorry, you got to grab out the die. So you've lined this up and you cut this out and you have what looks like this. Now you're just going to flip it around and you're going to cut out the other side. Now we practiced and played around with it to find just the right spot so that you get the full doily without any snipping. And if you look down here, we're going to probably zoom this in or do a little indication for you on the video. The very first little cutout is kind of a teardrop. You want to put the edge of the die right up to the first round circle, if that makes sense. You're going to go just slightly over the edge of it, and you need to just kind of eyeball using these little um, score marks to make sure it's centered. So it would be right about there. And again, I would suggest using a post-it tape or a magnetic platform or something to keep that in place and really secure while you send that through again. And if you line that up right there, after it comes out, you end up with this really cute full doily. So it's this perfect little element that can be used on cards and um, other kinds of envelopes. So really fun, really quick and easy. So again, I'm just going to show you our finished samples of how fun the new Lacy Love No Envelope die can be if you use it in the traditional manner of on an envelope, but you can also use it on your card friends as a full doily or as a half doily. So really, really fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Feel free to like this video. If you're not already following us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We love to have new friends. So hopefully you enjoyed it. You can head over to our shop at www.
www.concordandnines.com. If I added a fourth W, it's only three, three W's, concordandnines.com. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thank you.